Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell because that way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. As always, if you're already subscribed, thanks again so much for being here and welcome back. I am planning on going live on November 8th at 5 p.m. Pacific, so hopefully some of you can join me for that. There will most likely be some giveaways as always, and we will probably talk a little bit more about our holiday gift exchange, which you can still sign up to participate in over on the community tab. If there's any questions about that exchange, that's a good moment to ask. If there's anything we have to sort of decide as a channel, as a group, that's where we will come to our consensus. That's also a great place to give any suggestions for boxes that you would like to see here on the channel, and of course you can always leave those suggestions in the comments below. Today though I have one of the monthly lifestyle boxes that I purchase and review here almost every single month and that is Singles Swag. So this has two different subscription tiers. They have the regular box which is $39.99 and that does include the shipping in the US and then they also have their petite box which is $24.99 and again includes the shipping. If you use the link that I'll leave for you in the description box below you can save $15 which does make this box a great deal. In the full box, there's usually seven to eight products. One of them is usually a snack for like four to six dollars. One of them is usually a jewelry item, which sometimes can be a little bit hit or miss. Sometimes I feel like the retail value on that is a little bit high. Those two items are often half of the petite box as well as a couple other items. We get some fun bath and beauty products, sometimes some makeup, sometimes some home decor. That's like usually my favorite kind of th stuff in this box, but it is a really great value even though I don't always completely agree with the total retail value that they list in here. So I, like I said, I do think it's a good bang for your buck. It's a nice monthly lifestyle treat, usually pretty well balanced. No frills with this box. Like, so they have a pretty simple box and just some black tissue paper. There's not usually even any shred in there. I think that is fine um, because most of the time my items come in perfect condition. So it looks like this time for the November box, we do have eight items. The total retail value that is listed here is 208. I usually split that down the middle. So still over $100 in value on a $40 box or even a $25 box if you use that link. So I'm waiting to see if they actually count. I have a few referral credits. So that is how I'm able to continue bringing this box to the channel. So hopefully they get back to me very, very soon. But let's go ahead and prop that up in front of me. Like I said, they do include the retail values, which normally I really appreciate. Although sometimes I feel like they might be slightly elevated. All right, so let's get in into it. The first thing I see right on top, so again, no shred, everything's just kind of like nestled in there because sometimes things rattle around. The only thing that ever tends to affect is honestly the snack. Sometimes it comes a bit crumbly. All right, we have a tribal print head wrap by Aviana Jordan. So this is actually a really pretty one. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Now, I don't wear headbands a lot, but they are showing a couple different ways to wear it. So you can wear it more like a traditional headband. You can just use it as a ponytail holder. Don't know if I do this like sweatband stuff style here or you can uh, kind of wrap it around your messy bun if you're that kind of person. I find that when I wrap it around uh, my bun and I usually wear like a lower bun at the nape of my neck, that doesn't usually work. It usually just winds up being like a very loose ponytail holder, but it is an option. I do think these colors are really pretty. So, and it is very, very soft. Feels like nice, like yoga pants. So it's kind of this beautiful teal with a lighter teal and then some purple accents. So let's see what it says about this tribal printed head wrap that has a value of $22. So that seems a little bit high. I like that it is so thin though. So you can see right here that it is kind of like bunched where you could put it at the nape of your neck. So it's not super duper thick. And then here it does kind of open up more. So if you had it as a head band it could be a little bit wider it does look like it has kind of a reversible print so this side is a little bit busier of course and this side is a little more simple I like this really simple teal side so it says this chic stylish headband is both soft and comfortable it really 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 is very very soft and contains elastic technology to ensure a perfect fit every time wear a variety of ways including those shown on the products packaging so this is lovely I think that's a very nice item to start with and something that a lot of people I think can use looks like we have something from Steve 
Laurent, which is like one of the brands that they have in, in this box quite a bit. Um, and you can't really find a lot of reviews about them because they're just like a kind of a popular wholesaler. Um, most of the time, the products that I have used are like okay, but I think if you have sensitive skin or you just want to do a little bit more research about where these are sourced from, uh, that was is definitely something that you should do. But these are just a set of lip masks. I'm trying to get into them, but they don't want to let me uh, get rid of the plastic film, but I will try my best to not mess up the packaging. So let's see what they are listing this, this retail value as. $24 for a five piece set. So I don't use a lot of lip masks, but I do find that I use lip masks more than I use lip scrubs, even though we get a lot of like lovely lip scrubs in different subscription boxes. Let me see if I can sneak my way in. I'm still trying to get in there. I just want to see what the individual packages look like. But if you got this, this would make a great little stocking stuffer for someone if you didn't want to use them yourself. So it says, bring a burst of hydration to your lips whenever you need a little extra lip love. The masks instantly soothe and repair lips while reducing the appearance of fine lines so it just came in this kind of like rose gold package right and then hopefully I can get into this these are always sort of tricky packages to open because I tend to tear the little tabs but sometimes I can kind of sneak my scissors in and pop them open let's see if I can do that today I will probably just make a mess of it as usual so almost there all right here we go so let's see what they look like individually so you can put these in little gift bags. So that's a nice big lip there. You can kind of see the size of it. So uh, my lips are not very, very big, but maybe it's a good way to uh, get someone to shut up in your life for a few moments and be like, here, use this lip mask. And then they have to be quiet for a minute or two. So it doesn't actually say how long to leave it on there. It just says that it should uh, soothe lips while reducing the appearance of fine lines. I, I'm always a little suspect when it like doesn't say like how long to leave it on there for. Um, it does see it doesn't it just says Sue's lips but it does give you the ingredients in there so that is good and the main ingredient of course is water so that's also good <laughs> all right so let's go water glycerin all the usual suspects we got something from Chizos, which is a rejuvenating scalp scalp massager so it came in this kind of like glossy box that sounds like something my husband is going to enjoy or ask me to uh demonstrate on him this has a value of 18 dollars Ooh, this does look kind of good so it's this pretty blue color it does have a little string if you want to um, hang it it's, you probably use this in your shower if you have like a nice uh, scalp scrub or something got a little handle on it and then it's got these little teeth in here that's gonna like allow you to really get in there that would be probably feel really good they're pretty soft though so they're like a little bit flexible they're not like hard so actually that those looks good, cool value of $18 relieve stress while promoting blood flow and healthy hair growth with this versatile tool equipped with flexible rubber tips to reach every part of your scalp even the areas we often forget use in the shower while massaging in hair products or apply directly to your dry scalp see I'm wondering if the like rubber would catch and like cause tangles in your hair but maybe the teeth because they're kind of this cone shape are far enough apart that your hair wouldn't get tangled um, it might work better on like short hair so my husband might have uh, better luck with it than I would because I'm a little bit worried like I said because it does have a little bit of grip on it all right so we are to our jewelry piece by Violet Harper which is a designer or a brand that does appear as the jewelry piece in single swag quite a bit usually kind of pretty packaging like sort of like you wouldn't necessarily know is a jewelry piece unless you get single swag pretty regularly but it's just a little cardboard um, sleeve essentially and then usually it just kind of slides out but I like this packaging I think it's pretty um, and then inside is just a simple blue box. So let's see, it says the Isabella Isabella beaded layered necklace and bracelet set has a value of $58. That is like the magic value with their jewelry pieces. This sleek, elegant set includes a silver layered necklace accented with aqua beads and a silver layered bracelet with oval pendant, perfect for work, weekend, fun, or a night on the town. So let's see what this looks like. So very, very simple. I'm not exactly sure even which one is which so I think the top one because they did mention an oval pendant I think that is the layered bracelet I love how delicate the chains are and then you can kind of see on this other chain there are some teeny tiny aqua beads so I again I like the de the delicacy of it um, and I think this is actually pretty good lately I have to say the jewelry has been pretty good knock on wood um, I don't wear a lot of silver but I do like the little aqua beads on that necklace I don't usually wear 
wear chain bracelets just because I find them so difficult to put on. They just kind of have everything jumbled back here, but I'm going to leave it on the backer card for now so I can take some photos for you guys over on Instagram. If you're not following me over on Instagram yet, it would really help me out if you did. It's just at Maui underscore Noel. I do a lot of product photography. I will not be doing as much in the new year just because it has become so time consuming, even though I do really enjoy it and I like to promote boxes that way, but you'll probably see just fewer posts. So if you're like worried about seeing too many posts from me, there will be fewer posts and maybe a little bit more of like my personal life and lifestyle as well. Ooh, wow. For our snack this time, this is like hefty. Sometimes we'll get like, you know, a couple Stroop waffles, but like this time we got a whole package of Gabriel and Daphne sugared almond shortbread cookies. And look how big the package is, you guys. That's awesome. So this is a value of $6. Usually it's just a $4 value. So we got a little extra this time. These rich delectable shortbread cookies are too good to have just one. Enjoy. I can feel already that there's some crumbling happening just from probably getting jostled around the box. There are seven servings container per container, but there's three cookies per serving. So we have 21 cookies in here. That's pretty awesome in all honesty. I have like come to like shortbread. When I was a kid, I was like all about chocolate chip or, you know, like shortbread cookies were like the least, the last thing on my list. But these days, like with some nice tea or as your like dessert breakfast cookie, I'm, I'm all about it. All right, we got something from Laritzi, which I believe is a Canadian beauty brand, which again does appear in single swag quite a bit. Uh, this is a lip gloss. We get their lip glosses a lot, I feel like. Um, this is a value of $18, formulated to give you an effortless high gloss editorial look while removing the stickiness and the glue-like feeling to create the ideal finish. Designed for ultimate comfort, each swipe is packed with a mega dose of unreal hydration. Keep shining. I actually really like this color, so I definitely think I've gotten it just in basic it clear which I don't use that often because I feel like it does make things a little bit sticky and we've been wearing face masks for two years now but um this is actually a really pretty color this is like a color I would totally pick out it will like kind of blend well with whatever like lipstick you have on underneath so I might give that a try that's that's kind of nice then, oh, you guys, I'm so excited. It's been a little while since I've gotten one of these guys. And I always say it's like a ubiquitous item. Like if you are subscribed to Lifestyle Boxes for long enough, you will eventually get one of these. And I'm excited. So it is a sponge There is a little accent over the E, so that's why I say sponge -a This is the Botanica by sponge a body wash infused buffer. So sometimes we'll get the hand scrubbers or the foot scrubbers. I like the body wash ones. They last for like, it says 15 washes, but I feel like it's a little bit longer. These have a value of $20. That is exactly how much you would pay for it on the website. Uh, it is in the scent of rose, which is a little bit of a bummer because you guys know I'm not a huge fan of rose scents, but um, um, I love sponge because they just feel really good. They're really hard, a little bit rough on you, like the first couple scrubs, but they do soften up. It says, love your skin with this body wash infused buffer designed to cleanse, moisturize, rejuvenate, and restore every inch of your body. The product is dermatologist tested, vegan friendly, cruelty free, and made with love in the USA. And it's a pink butterfly, so... I don't know. I, I sometimes just will put these in the shower and then my husband's like, oh, is this for me? And I'm like, yes, the pink butterfly rose scented sponge is for you. <laughs> it's fine. We we can share. So that this is nice. It it's not too bad. Honestly, maybe that is like an acquired taste too. Maybe I'm starting to learn to like rose as long as it doesn't smell super duper artificial. So I think that's all of the items that we got. Oh, nope, there's one more. So we got something from um, Emasis or Emasis. I have no idea how to say it, but I've seen this brand before. So I'm going to go ahead and go for my little scissors trick to see if I can pop it open, which the answer to that is no. This is the highest valued, oh, besides the jewelry, it's the highest valued item in the box as $42. It is a lavender eye serum. Oh, this is kind of pretty though. I will say they get points for packaging. So um, I've definitely gotten this brand in something else. It may have been a single swag. It says soothing and corrective serum. So this is what it looks like. I guess it's like in a roller ball with this rose gold cap says this soothing and corrective under eye serum will reshape your view on eye care with natural oils that will result in a more youthful and radiant look contains therapeutic aloe spirulina geranium oil and lavender oil so i kind of like the idea of um it being a little bit more liquidy and being able to like just roll it on underneath your eyes versus like a traditional um eye serum which i feel like often come in like little little jars of cream so this is kind of a cool way to use it and i feel like 
like it might be kind of soothing as well to have like lavender close to your eyes, your sinuses. So I think that's, this is a pretty nice box. Once again, I feel like in the last few months, single swag, again, knock on wood, has really upped their game and I've really enjoyed it and felt like I got my money's worth. So we got this Amasis or Emesis, uh, Amasis? skincare soothing lavender eye serum we got our sponge lay in a rose scent maybe there were variations but um because it doesn't say rose scent on the card so i'm guessing some lucky people out there got something besides rose scent we also got our total repair lip mask set by steve laurent Ta-da! We got our sugared almond shortbread cookies. Um, the snack's always one of the things I'm the most excited about. I'm, I'm basic that way. We got our lavender, or excuse me, Violet Harper, <laughs> Violet Lavender, Isabella beaded layered necklace and bracelet set. Not my favorite jewelry piece, but certainly not terrible. Uh, rejuvenating scalp massager. Ooh, that might actually be my favorite item just because it's so like kind of novel and it feels, looks like it will feel really good. The Aviana Jordan Tribal Printed Head Wrap, which I do think is in a very pretty color and it is indeed very, very soft. The Laritzi Lip Gloss in also a very nice color that I think is very, very usable. So again, I thought this was a pretty good box. I don't know that it was worth $208. It was certainly worth $40. Let me know that what your favorite item was in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. It does help my channel out quite a bit. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.